Capitec Bank, the bank with the lowest fees in South Africa by far. Did you know that Capitec started in a Toyota test boot? Or did you know that Capitec is one of the most popular banks in South Africa? The banking industry in South Africa was no exception. For decades and decades, the banking industry was dominated by the big four, Standard Bank, FNB, NetBank, and ABSA. However, in 2000, a new player entered the industry called Capitec which started establishing branches rapidly. By 2007, it broke through the barrier of 1 million active customers. 10 years later, it had more than 10 million clients and about 800 branches. Capitec has now become the largest bank in the country. But how did the company start? What's the story behind it? How big are they? And what are the some lesser known facts about Capitec? Capitec was formed in 1997, a business that acquired and consolidated a number of small micro lending businesses. Capitec loans were between 50 Rand and 1.5. In 2001, Capitec registered as a bank. Over time, it has been slowly transforming its clients, who mainly relied on it for loans into banking clients, who deposited their salaries and managed their transactions through their Capitec accounts. It was funded by Michel Le Roux, Jonas Montaigne, and Rian Stassen. And as we speak from today, Michel Le Roux has a net worth of about 21 billion rands. He founded Capitec Bank South Africa in 2001. The bank trades on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, where they target emerging middle class people in the country. Capitec first entered the industry in rural areas. These rural areas were underserved by traditional banks. That is because most people living there are quite poor and the banks figured they could not make much money on them. There were however plenty of micro lending business in those areas offering unsecured payday loans. Capitec bought those micro lending businesses and convert them into bank branches. The big banks like FNB, APSA, NetBank ignored Capitec as it was still a small fish in the ocean. However, after Capitec had established itself in rural areas, it started entering larger cities such as Cape Town, Durban, and Pretoria. It set up branches near taxi ranks and bus stations and it promoted itself on the streets, the station, and the taxi ranks, handing out flyers to people. Capitec was playing it smart, and after establishing itself in the cities, Capitec started to get well known and its brand name and reputation was growing. It then started setting up branches in high-end shopping malls. The big banks were starting to see Capitec as a threat and these big banks were furious. But by now, it was too late to stop Capitec, the new kid on the block, who was getting recognition left and right, up and down. Capitec continued growing and growing and growing. It even decided to keep open its branches till 6 p.m. or even 8 p.m. while all banks closed at 3 p.m. Capitec had its branches open for approximately 12 hours per day, 5 hours more than its competitors. The big bank realized what Capitec was doing and banks started to catch up. Capitec made its mark on a crowded and competitive market and by now Capitec is considered as one of the largest banks in South Africa. In 2005, Rian Stassen, the CEO of Capitec, wanted the bank to go to people instead of people coming to the bank. So they bought a brand new car, which was a Toyota Tears, and they built a consultant station in the boot of the car. This was a secretive project with only people knowing about the bank in the boot of a car. But this wasn't enough. The team wanted to make banking even more portable. So they built a computer in a silver aluminum case and simply carried it to wherever people were. The innovation was called the suitcase man, which refers to the guy holding the suitcase, and this strategy made mobile banking possible on site. During the same period, the bank has acquired over 350,000 clients with 251 branches and 180 ATMs countrywide. And in 2008, Capitec entered the online space by introducing internet banking to further simplify banking for their 2 million clients. Capitec became the first bank in South Africa to offer biometric verification through fingerprint scanning and branches. And by the end of February 2010, 
the bank had grown to a total number of 2.1 million active clients. This was because Kiptech was not like a normal bank. Kiptech branches did not have intimidating banking atmosphere. They looked more like retail shops. For example, Kiptech didn't have a big security barrier and that's because there's no cash on the premises. The other thing is when people are helped by consultant, they are not facing a window or a desk. They sit side by side with consultant looking at the screen together and the processes are paperless. An Eastern Cape man has admitted schemes to get the Capitec Bank out of money. According to the Hawks, employee Zakia Mohammed and a friend named Ashley Larox planned 13 fraudulent loans from Capitec Bank of 1.5 million between 8 August 2016 and 2 February 2017. Mohammed has since pledged guilty and has been sentenced to five years in prison, but Larox has decided to pursue the trial route. There was also a former Capitec bank teller who managed to fraud the company over 200k. The former employee at Capitec was released on a 1.5 bill. He is facing charges of fraud and theft. He was fired from his job and the matter was reported to further the investigation. In January 2018, Viceroy released an explosive report titled Capitec, a wolf in a sheep's clothing, which accused the bank of engaging in predatory lending and having a loan book that was massively overstated. The report caused Capitec's share price to immediately drop by 23%, but surprisingly, the bank recovered quickly. Viceroy was then fined with 50 million rands for publishing false and misleading statements about Capitec. There are many factors that may affect the bank, just like bombing of ATMs. There was a shootout in Pumalang of six men armed who stormed the local old complex and bombed the net bank and Capitec ATMs. In Deben, a gang of men destroyed an ATM with industrial grade explosive in a broad daylight on Sunday. Bombing of ATM is something common for most South Africans. Then there was an article published saying that Capitec experienced a 70% drop in earnings. This was because of the pandemic. The COVID-19 national lockdown resulted in Capitec losing 404 million rands. But Capitec believed that next year financial year would be better. Despite Capitec controversies, the Capitec Bank has been recognized as the strongest brand in South Africa, as well as being recognized for the second time as third strongest banking brand in the world. It was also the number one Forbes World's Best Bank saving. Later that same year, Capitec partnered with Easy Equity to give clients access to affordable investing through their banking app, and more than 70,000 clients registered for the Easy Equity widget on the banking app in just four months. Capitec has been dubbed the most complain about bank in South Africa. Capitec customers complain about mobile banking fraud and phishing. Following closely behind Capitec is NetBank which received an average of 1.5 complaints. Capitec customers complain saying their balance is 0, 0 on the banking app despite receiving their salaries. South African using Capitec Bank were in a nasty surprise on Tuesday 25 April 2023. Many customers of the bank claim they woke up to find 0, zero balance on the app. Just imagine sleeping with a balance of 10,000 and waking up tomorrow to witness all of your money gone. How crazy is that? Capitec had no words as to what exactly caused the supposed glitch. According to some customers, the app shows there are no funds in their account. While another customer said, I got paid and the statement shows that I got paid but my balance says I've got 8 rand in my savings account. Yes, this is not funny anymore. I can't even be mad. Wow. This was a tough moment for Capitec users and some of the users even thought of changing banks. But this wasn't the first time Capitec Bank has experienced glitches that scared its customers. In March, users complained the app was rejecting their secret pins with a red notification stating incorrect pin, please try again even though they entered a correct pin. And as if that wasn't enough in 2022, the bank mobile application and cell phone banking platforms were down for over 24 hours. 
But without releasing any statement, Kipitech fixed the glitch which enables the users to access their app once again. But a few days later, for the second time, Kipitech users have been left locked out of their accounts. Hundreds of Kipitech users complained that they are unable to access their funds. Sign in unsuccessful. An unexpected error occurred during sign in. Please tell to try again. These were the error messages when attempting to log in. This was bad because many people needed to access their money so they could go to work or even feed their families. Most of the Kiptech clients threatened to boycott the bank which has been given similar problems in the past. Some of the Kiptech users defined the bank on Twitter as one of the worst banks in South Africa. But I gotta say, I disagree with that statement. But later on, the bank apologized. Customers received a message that said the bank is undergoing a scheduled maintenance and will be unavailable. The bank also advised customers that they can continue to use their cards to pay or withdraw cash. But problems persisted throughout the morning as clients were not able to log in to the app. But later on, the company released a statement saying it's fixing the technical glitch. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe and drop a comment on which company you think I should do next. Capitec's success can be attributed to a number of factors. The partnership with PSG provided a significant amount of equity capital that enabled the bank to advance its operation. Furthermore, PSG also acted as a shareholder of reference, providing a comfort to the market specifically in the early years when the entity was in its infinite. Capitec also benefited from a diversified business model it offered a simple, affordable, and transparent product that could be easily be understood by the market, as well as micro lending, which ensured profitability from the start. Capitec's purpose is to make banking simply and transparent so that everyone can live better. Capitec is building the future to unlock value for their 20 plus million clients so that they can live better.